in this video we're going to be looking at a better example than the previous one that we've done which is to uh, create a simple class um, we've done we've looked at two classes which we which is the uh, which are the cl a car class and the bank account class so I want you to write your own class now which is going to be a calculator class which can be used to perform simple addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers. Remember to add a method that can be called to get it out of the calculations. It's actually very simple if you just lean back and just think about uh, all the classes that I've shown you, what are the methods, how to write them, you'll be able to figure this one out. So before I go ahead and show you my own class, I think you should write your own first. Don't cheat. Remember? The more codes you write, the better you become. So let's look at it. And this is the class, the interface file class um, inheriting from the NS object. And uh, we want to return the get total, which is a method as a double. The addition is not going to return anything, it's going to take an input as a double. The reason why I've declared all these. Uh, 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 all, the, all of them as doubles because sometimes you might want to add 12.5 uh, you might want to multiply decimal so it's, uh, if I declare them as input uh, as integer then it doesn't make sense right and again so that's are the uh, just four this, these are just the four methods the uh, addition subtraction multiplication and di and division so and here I want to get the total so I only need one um, instance variable, which is the running total. Anytime I want to get the total, I will get I will uh, I will call the uh, running total variable uh, the uh, method. So in order for me to get the total, I'll just say return the running total, which is uh, uh, very simple. The addition will add the number any number that the person types for the addition so if the person send a message to our calculator object with an argument that argument will be added to the running total so that's the way the calculator works every time you look at on the screen of the calculator the running total on the calculator will always be added to the new calculation so if you say 2 plus 5 it will say 7 then it will press plus 3 again so that means 7 the previous 7 plus 3 will be 10 then it will say plus five so that means 10 plus five so the running total will always be added to the uh, arguments that the person sent in same thing with subtraction will be the running total minus the input same thing with multiplication so i remember i told you the shortcut the short and to writing running total equals running total plus apple i've said running total uh minus equals uh input so that instead of repeating this variable twice so this is what i did here so instead of repeating it I show you before the shorthand and uh, I did the same thing for multiplication and division and division then this is the program so I want to write a um, a simple I want to write a simple uh, calculator object to perform this operation so what I do is I declared and I've used the new keyword remember the new keyword I talked about in the one of the last videos so instead of using the alloc and init you can use this new keyword so calculator will be our first calculation um, equals to calculator new so that means we declare a new object uh, sorry I had to pause the video there to attend to an emergency so yeah after creating uh, our object then we can uh, call each of these methods and with the first one we call will be the addition so what we're trying to do is we are trying to do the sorry I'm breathing heavily because I just climbed some stairs uh, 20, uh, 20 uh, minus 5 multiplied by 8 minus 2 what will happen is each time you call the each time you call the uh, method for example when we call the addition uh, addition uh, method what will happen is the running total will now be 20 then we do the subtraction will be 15 then multiply by 8 then divided by 2 this is why we get a result of 118 so that's why we get the result here of 118 you know how to fix this uh, point zero 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 zero. you can just put 0 0.2 f 0 0.2 f so 
as you can see it's a very basic uh, if you want we can add another value to it so first calculation addition then let's add uh, 25 to there and uh, so now our running total will always be so if, in order to get the running total all you have to do is just call the get total method so as you can see it's a very straightforward uh, calculator object we're going to extend it uh, quite extensively we're going to make it bigger this calculation uh, this uh, calcul calculator class might be something that we're going to use because this is actually something you can use in real life even the bank account class as well we're still going to re revisit that but uh, unlike the car class which doesn't actually translate into the real life but uh, this is something that you're going to find quite useful so i'm going to be working with this calculator calculator class so make sure you write yourself one so that when we're extending it you can uh, have a good uh, understanding of what is going on so i hope this is straightforward i hope you also wrote your own class before you look at mine and i'll see you in the next video thank you